If you're like me, you like to be under control, control of yourself, control of the situation. And uh, I've always said that that's the reason that I've never even liked to drink even a little bit. Uh, and thank God, because I like to be in control. Because I don't drink at all, if I have my yearly pina colada or yearly beer at a party, uh, I'm pretty much uh, on top of the table. And I don't like to be. I take a sip and I put it down. I know that you like to be under control also. It says in Proverbs 16, verse 9, people may make plans in their minds, but the Lord decides what they will do. And it has been said acceptance is resting in God's goodness, believing that God has all things under God's control. When you realize that you can be under God's control, there is an upliftment in your soul and you feel on a spiritual high all the time. You just have a joy that is, is an inner flame within you that never goes away. Actually, it increases during your day. It increases as you see the manifestation of miracle after miracle after miracle in your own life. If you're like most people, like me, you like being in control. You want things to happen according to your wishes and your timetable. But sometimes, God has other plans. Now, in my own life, that has been an uncomfortable thing. I'll admit to you, in the past, I've tried to push and push and push Chris's way when it wasn't God's way. And thank God that I waited until God's timing and God's time. I wouldn't even be in the ministry today if it wasn't for that. The power of God and God control in your life. But sometimes things go out of control. Beyond your control. Are you embittered because of something that has happened to you? Out of your control. Perhaps a personal tragedy. Something that you didn't deserve. And even today, you may have trouble understanding. If so, take it to God, and it is time to make peace with your life and with God. It's time to forgive others, and if necessary, forgive yourself. You know, I'm a movie buff, and I tell this story in our August uh, Positive Church full sermon. And if you've never watched one of these, I, I invite you to do it. Let me give you a preview. The movie Forrest Gump. You remember Lieutenant Dan. He was so embittered because he had lost his legs in Vietnam. He was very mad at Forrest Gump for saving his life and pulling him out of there. He wanted to die. And then Forrest offered him a job. He had this dream. Forrest had this dream of shrimp boating out in the Gulf of Mexico. And they're both on this boat. And a storm comes up in the Gulf, a hurricane. And there they are. The boat is being tossed and whipped about in the storm. And Lieutenant Dan climbs up the mast of the fishing boat and shouts at the storm and shouts at God and says, take me. I'm tired of this. Well, sometimes we do that in life. We get so embittered because of something that has happened out of our control. Well, look at the other side of what happened. They remained after the storm. The only fishing boat left they cornered the shrimp market. They both became multimillionaires. And Lieutenant Dan got new legs, a beautiful new bride, and a happy ending. Well, that's the way life is. So often there is a sting in the moment, but if we can look at the long picture of God's blessings coming into our life. 
My friend, it is time to accept the unchangeable past. My friend, it's time to embrace the priceless present. And my friend, it's time to have faith in the promise of tomorrow. And it is time to trust God completely. Now, if you have encountered unfortunate circumstances that are absolutely, totally beyond your control, trust God. Trust God who is in control. When you place your trust in God, you can be comfortable in the knowledge that God is both loving and God is wise. And God understands God's plans perfectly, even when you don't. And I invite you to realize that control is both self and divine. Follow God, realize when you do, you're the one that's always in control.